Want to learn how to calculate commercial real estate leasing commissions and what's common in the industry? If so, stick around because that's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. For first dibs on all new real estate financial modeling and career training videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Now, when you're analyzing a commercial real estate investment deal, inevitably during your projected hold period, you're going to have some tenants that may have leases that expire during that hold period. And in your analysis, when those tenants have leases that expire, you need to make some assumptions on what is going to happen when those leases expire and if you end up renewing those leases or finding a new tenant for the space what your costs are going to be in order to keep that suite occupied so in this video we're going to cover part of that as real estate leasing commissions so if you sign a new lease with a tenant or renew an existing lease you're likely going to have a real estate broker on your side trying to help you with that transaction. So what are the costs associated with that broker? How do you actually calculate that in Excel? And what are the rates that you might see on a real life deal? So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to calculate commercial real estate leasing commissions and the rates that are common out in the field. So if a tenant signs a lease to pay a million dollars over a 10 year lease term in base rent, generally what's going to happen is a commercial real estate broker that helps you sign that lease as a landlord is going to take a percentage of that base rent. Now this generally doesn't include any sort of reimbursements that the tenant may owe the landlord down the line. And it also generally doesn't include any sort of free rent on the property. So if you have a five year lease with a tenant and they have six months of free rent in the very beginning of the lease term, you're usually only going to have to pay the leasing broker for the second half of the first year and then the four years after that. Now these percentages are also usually on a sliding scale based on the lease term. So for the first five years of a lease, you may see leasing commissions at around 6% for a new lease and about 4% or 3% for a renewal lease. But for a lease that goes out 10 years or more, for years six through 10 and years 11 and onwards, the landlord is generally going to see a decreased likelihood of actually receiving that rent. So things change in the economy, things change locally and in certain industries. And so you may not end up seeing the base rent that was contractually obligated to you when you sign that lease as a landlord. So generally what happens is you'll see a higher percentage upfront as a leasing commission. And then in year six through 10, you might see 3% for a new lease and 2% or 1.5% for a renewal, but that leasing commission percentage is likely going to decrease as you get further and further into later years of that lease, again, because there's less certainty that you're actually going to get paid back as the landlord. So let's jump into Excel quickly, go through a quick example of this and take a look at how this actually might look for a sample deal. All right, so now we're back in Excel, and what I've done here is I've put together some lease terms and also the base rent for those lease terms. So these are all blue manual inputs that are going to drive the model. So what we have here is we have a 10-year lease with annual increases of 3%. The free rent period is six months, and this is going to be important based on what we talked about earlier on in this video. We have 10,000 square feet. The base rent is $20. Our reimbursements are triple net and then our leasing commissions for years one through five are going to be six percent and then for years six through ten they're going to be three percent so what we need to do is calculate what our leasing commissions are going to be now number one we need to make sure that we're only including our base rent so what we have here is our base rent schedule and our base rent schedule is only going to include what we are contractually obligated to receive. Meaning that for this free rent period, we have six months of free rent in year one. So we're actually only going to get half of what we would have otherwise been owed. So we don't want to calculate our leasing commissions based on the full $200,000, just the $100,000. So if I change this to say 12 months, that's going to turn to $0 in base rent for that first year because we wouldn't end up paying any sort of leasing commissions on that year one base rent, which is non-existent. So I'm gonna change this back to six months. So the next thing I wanna point out is our reimbursement structure doesn't matter. 
So even though we have reimbursements that are triple net here, we're not going to include these in our analysis because our reimbursements, again, don't matter. We're just looking at our base rent for the deal. So for a triple net lease or a full service gross lease, it's still going to be the same calculation. Now we know our leasing commissions for years one through five are 6% of that base rent. And for years six through 10, they're 3% of the base rent. So let's calculate this in our leasing commission cell and figure out what our leasing commissions owed are going to be on this lease. All right, so let's start with the first part of our calculation, which is going to be calculating what the first five years of base rent is and then multiplying that by 6%. So I'm gonna take the sum of years one through five and I'm gonna multiply that by 6%. So that'll give me the first part of my calculation, 6% of years one through five of base rent. Then all I need to do from there is add the sum of years six through 10 of base rent and close my parentheses here and multiply that by 3% this time. So I need to multiply that by 3% and I can hit enter and now I have my leasing commissions of $94,638. So again, it all depends on the listing agreement with that leasing broker, but in general, you usually won't have to pay anything on the triple net reimbursements or on a free rent period. Leasing commissions are usually based just on the base rent. So that is how you would calculate those leasing commissions in Excel. All right, so now you know how to calculate leasing commissions for your next commercial real estate investment deal. And if you clicked on this video, chances are you probably want to learn a little bit more about real estate financial modeling and analysis. So to help out with that, what I've done is put together a free three-part real estate financial modeling crash course. And again, you can grab that for free in the link in the description below. So if you're looking to land your first job in commercial real estate investing as an analyst or an associate, or you're looking to do your first deal, I highly recommend checking that course out if you're looking to advance your skill set. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and share it with anyone who might find this helpful. And I hope to see you in the next video.